when creating dialogues with add-ons, there are different options to consider. The two main ones are Dialogue Manager and Dialogic. Today, we are going to be comparing both and coming to a conclusion to which one you should be using. Let's start. Let's firstly start with Dialogue Manager. So here's the example project that I'm going to be using. So basically, we have here a character that can move in four uh, direction okay uh, this player is called coco and then we have nathan over here um with uh, and basically we can talk to nathan and there have a dialogue okay so it's quite a simple uh project that we are going to be using so if i approach nathan and i press enter here i will have here this pretty basic dialogue that i created with dialogue manager Basically, I have here the title, basically, the let's say the person that is talking, in this case, Nathan, and is saying, hi, Coco. Then Coco says, hello, Nathan, the trees are amazing, aren't they? For sure, Coco, how are you doing? Couldn't be better. Amazing, talk so, okay? It's something quite simple that I created uh, quite easily. And we can go ahead and talk again if we want, and well, the, the same sequence uh, would be played, okay? Um... So this is a pretty simple example, yet effective in order to understand how Dialogue Manager actually works. So here Dialogue Manager has this tab over here. And what we have is the dialogue name. Okay, in this case, I just I just call it Nathan. And we also have an end statement, okay? Because here we could perfectly have different dialogues depending on which one we want to play. Because if we go um i have here an actionable object that basically is an area 2d that then here i add a collision shape so basically if the if the player is inside of this actionable okay then using this method okay i will show the dialogue loading the dialogue resource and the dialogue start that i write basically the dialogue start will be like the title so here in the world as you can see i have this actionable and i load in the dialogue resource Okay, that here you could have different resources. Uh, and then the dialogue start, okay, which dialogue do we want to start? In this case, is this this dialogue. But for example, here I could have a completely, a completely different dialogue called, I don't know, trade. And I could have there a dialogue in order to trade some stuff. Dialogue manager, of course, supports uh, the possibility of having different actions and options. Um, basically to select, for example, if you want to... If you select some option, you can run some specific dialogue. Also, depending on if you, for example, have already um, some item, etc., in your inventory. So it, it isn't that it only supports here lineal dialogues, but also non-lineal dialogues. That basically means okay, if some condition is true, for example, if the player uh, has enough money, um, the player is going to be able to buy some item, for example. So basically here dialogue manager uses a, a scripting language because everything is as if it were uh, a script and it is quite handy okay to do literally everything because also for example here what we are doing in order to action the dialogue here we are checking if the player basically this is coco is colliding with uh some stuff with this area 2d uh over here that would be basically this one if this area 2d has some overlapping areas basically means that it is colliding with some stuff okay the, the only thing that we have that has actually collisions in this example project is the nathan collision okay that is this one so we don't have to differentiate between different collisions so if that is the case that there is some kind of collision we are just going to be calling the action uh function in the in that actionable okay that would be this function over here that would basically start the dialogue so yes everything is quite handy and so as you can see dialogue manager uh, currently is in version 2.39 so it really has like a, a unstable release and stable version that you can use without any error or major error so that is quite quite good and also the fact that you can literally uh, script everything gives you a lot of freedom now let's talk about Dialogic. Once again, the credits for the project are going to be in the description down below. And in this case, it's quite a similar uh, approach that we are taking here. 
basically well we have here like some kinds of icon we also have some sound effects there but these are extra things okay um so yes uh we also have here this kind of potion that appears we can also reach a super similar result uh, in dialogue manager um And here just you have these actions also that depending on what we answer, one dialogue is going to be run or other. Again, this is again achievable in dialogue manager. So here, for example, select yes. And well, there we have it. Now in dialogic, we also have here this tab. Um, and in this case, we have different um stuff here because well this dialogue is a little bit more complex than the one that we saw in dialogue manager um but well the 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 most important things remain the same basically we do have here a file with the different uh dialogues for example we have here chuck giving that it is the dialogue that we have seen just now so for example here we have here join chuck and what is here chuck it is this other file over here that basically means this icon uh, so basically here at the beginning it joins Chuck, okay? Um, and then here it says, well, hello, I'm Chuck. And here as you can see, it joins the potion character. That is basically the potion that we saw. And I found this in the game, not sure what it does. And then here it leaves the potion that entered over here. And here basically comes the choices, okay? Uh, we can answer yes. And this this is going to be answered or nope, and this one would be answered. As you can see the main difference is the fact that everything is visual. So of course this has lots of its advantages and advantages as well because having everything visually organized could be a, a pretty good advantage. But on the other hand, everything is a little bit more rigid, maybe more complicated to organize because you, you are limited to using uh, these kinds of predefined code blocks. We also have here the, the code editor if you want to have something more similar even um, to a dialogue manager so you can even just use um, dialogic uh, too as if it were dialogue manager because you would be able to do everything in a scripted language if you wanted and you can come back to the visual editor if you wanted as well so this approach is of course super super interesting now, something that you have to note is that currently Dialogic is on alpha, okay? It's not even in betas or in previous releases or something like that. It's completely in beta. This means that probably you will find lots of errors, okay? Or well, maybe not lots of errors, but maybe when creating uh, lots of dialogues or when creating more complex uh, stuff, you may encounter some errors. So if you really want to create a complete project with lots of dialogues, complex dialogues, and you want to publish it, maybe Dialogic you should be really it is worth considering this because well releasing some final product with something that is in alpha beta or something like that is not always the best approach so now let's have a wrap up of the key differences between dialogue manager and dialogic so uh, basically dialogue manager is easily customizable thanks to its scripting language that it uses and on the other hand dialogic is kind of more rigid because um you always have to use the code blocks so maybe you don't have as much functionalities as you have um in a dialogue manager then dialogue manager uses a script in language basically everything is written as if it as if it were code whereas in dialogic mostly everything is going to be visually as i explained this has both advantages and disadvantages because scripting language maybe you have more freedom but it is more complicated but well visual scripting may be easier because it's more user friendly but at the same time it may cause uh, the add-on to be more rigid then this is one of the key uh, things that basically dialogue manager is officially released it has a stable version and everything seems to be working fine whereas dialogue is currently on alpha versions okay so you may encounter errors so as i told you uh now dialogue supports both visual scripting and scripting language okay so that is amazing of course but maybe if you for example um write something in the scripting language and then you switch back to visual scripting there could be some kind of errors because again this is in alpha but anyway having both options to uh 
make it visually or uh, basically by just using code is amazing now here the question comes which of these two you should be using right now and basically i would say that right now you should be definitely using dialog manager even though it may really depend on the situation because if you just want to experiment a little bit with dialogues and do some personal projects dialogic would work well even though it is in beta um but i feel that is it is much worth uh, learning how to do something that is officially released officially stable and everything whereas done understanding something that is currently in beta or in alpha actually now also dialogic has key advantages basically having the possibility of both doing things visually or by code it is something that is worth considering because maybe in the future when there is a, a stable release maybe it can even take over dialog manager but i would say that right now if what you want is to create a complete game a complete project i would definitely personally go for dialog manager because it is still quite stable everything works quite well even though it's not visually appealing let's say the uh, scripting language is quite easy it is super good documented um so you're going to be able to smoothly code your dialogues in conclusion both are pretty good uh add-ons you really have to consider their pros and cons that i mentioned and they are depending on your exact purposes you may be more willing to take one or the other and also depending on what you like because if you feel much more comfortable visually scripting everything okay definitely go for dialogic so this is going to be all for today's video between comparing dialogue manager and dialogic i would really really love to know which one you would use which one maybe you are even using right now and why because by doing that we are going to be able to help the community even more um, choose which of these two amazing add-ons they should be using if you want more videos about without add-ons let me know in the comments down below like and subscribe for more content bye bye